This is a bicycle chain and it can work on your bike with you for thousands of kilometers, never breaking and never failing if you maintain it in the right way. So today on Shybag Studio, I'm presenting to you four main mistakes in bicycle chain maintenance. Are you ready? All right, here is the Shimano chain taken out of the box. What we get here is of course the manual. I'm gonna show you that in the second super important one. Many guys don't read it at all. The chain of course itself and extremely important uh, part which is the link. And here is the mistake number one. Reusing this link, all right? Some guys say that Shimano want to just sell us those links and make more, monies, uh, more money and they tell us not to reuse the link, but I'm gonna show you something. When I was 17 years old and I got my first Cannondale and had no money for tires, for chain, for anything, when breaking the chain, I would just do it very carefully so that I would leave the pin here on the outside link and I would be able to just reconnect my chain once again and push the link back through. Big, big no-no, never, never, ever do that. If you see my uh, bicycle like chain tool here, you sometimes wonder what are all these rings that collect on the chain, on the, on the spin, after breaking the chains. This is the part of this pin, which is no longer as strong as it was. This is the pin. Okay, so um, if I reuse this pin, the chain might break in this place, especially uh, under stress when we are changing the gears and pushing uh, the pedals. Um, if you are, if you've broken your chain somewhere, you know, in the middle of nowhere and you have the tool, you can reuse it and go back home. But uh, just bearing in mind that it can break. It, you know, for myself, it, it would go for hundreds of kilometers, but it sometimes, uh, it's, uh, it would sometimes break. Uh, but if you get home, get yourself either a new pin and just uh, remove the one that you already used or just buy a quick link. The quick link will allow you to uh, open and close like break and connect your chain for many times uh, because of its structure and special additional um, hole here. You can use it for many times as long as it doesn't open very easily. Which is more safe, the quick link or the pin? I would say for super important races I would use only the chain with original pins that was never broken. But the quick link is okay as well. So big big no no reusing the pin when breaking the chain. Number two. Number two is not removing the original grease from your chain. The original grease is super sticky. It protects um, the chain against uh, moisture in the warehouse because sometimes the chains would wait for, for us as, a, as a customers for months, maybe years. So the grease is there, but it's super sticky and it's not made for riding. I know there were some comments uh, on my uh, chain loop episode that we should just leave it because that's the best way to, uh, for, for the chain to, to uh, just work for many kilometers. I will withstand that critics and I definitely recommend cleaning the chain. But how to do it? Uh, go for the KMC website. They tell us the very nice instructions on how should we maintain the chain. But I'm gonna just tell you very, very shortly. I use the rack. I use some kind of degreaser. This is the Markov. I haven't tested this one yet, so this is not my recommendation, but I was just spray degreaser over the rack. Now, important factor here, squeeze it very, very well. And then once my chain is installed on the bike, just clean the after, the outer surface, only the outer surface of the chain. That's it. We don't want this degreaser to come in between the links and just inside uh, like under the rollers this is super important so not too much degreaser on the uh, on the rack but leaving the grease and going especially for the mtb ride will make your chain so so you know dirty and your drivetrain will be loud and you're gonna just use your and wear your uh, sprockets very very quickly 
you want to clean the chain okay third mistake is another extreme of what I just told you and that would be using some strong degrees strong degreasers and uh, making so-called shakes so some guys many guys actually use the greaser put it into a, a, some kind of a jar and then putting the chain there shaking it very very well and you know the chain is clean and looks nice but you never want this stuff to be too long on the chain and also leave it there and here comes the instruction if you see here sorry i'm going to read it like that it says in the warning part never use alkali based or acid based solvents such as rust cleaners rust cleaners i've seen on huge channels on youtube using those on the chain which says never use it uh, it can cause break or serious injury so that's what i say now sometimes very very rarely sporadically if my chain really gets super dirty super dirty and i can't just um, um, really clean it i would do this shake but only for a, like a minute or, or, or maybe a minute or, or two and then clean the chain. So we use the water, uh, clean it and lube it right away because we don't want this chain uh, to break. Okay, so reusing the pins, uh, not cleaning the original super sticky grease, making uh, very aggressive shakes often on the chain and finally, the fourth one is leaving the chain wet after cleaning the bike overnight. And you may just think that when you, after cleaning the bike, when you just do this, the chain is already dry. But I've made a, an experiment once. Um, I did that and I put the chain on the heater on my house, which was very hot, overnight. The next day, the water was still between the roller and the pin because it, it is so adhesive there and it won't dry very easily. So you have to make sure your chain is dry after cleaning the bike. What I do, I use the rack of course, but I also spin the chain set very, very quickly backwards on the highest gear and then I loop the chain because a good loop would also push, uh, push the water away so that is very very important so these were the four mistakes maybe one extra if you are using the uh, the um, directional chain make sure you put it in the right side on the bike it says it shows you specifically here you want those signs to be um, readable so from the outside and the clean one from the inside of your bike Thanks so much for watching. Uh, give me some, some of your comments uh, just below the video. What do you do and you don't do for your chains? And how many kilometers then are you able to, um, to use, use it and, and reuse your drive chain then after um, exchanging the chain? Thanks so much. See ya.